Good morning out there. How you doing? Jeff D. AMC Health Solutions dot com Saturday morning video for you here, Framingham, Massachusetts, on this cloudyish, rainyish day here. Muggy, muggy day here in the Massachusetts. So let's do a health and wellness tip after the gym. Shoulders, fries, abs. We did them today. A little bike too. A little cardio to end the day. Uh, were you there? We're looking for you. I don't know if you saw earlier this week here on our AMC Health Solutions Facebook page. We posted a great deal. So if you want to come work out with me, come on, let's do it. No excuses. Take action. So this week, what I like to do is talk about some healthcare myths. You know, it seems like everyone knows everything, right? This one knows this great thing. Hey, I got to eat a bunch of cabbage to lose weight. I love that one. Or you got to starve yourself and all that. So let's talk about that, right? So, so a few things. And I'm going to probably hit all those sectors. I'm going to hit a fitness one, diet one, um, supplementation and all that. So the big one I always hear, you always hear about this a lot, that cholesterol is bad for you. No, it's not. There are two types. There's LDL and HDL. You want to have a balance, right? You want to have more HDL than LDL to be able to have that good balance of cholesterol. It's almost like good bacteria and bad bacteria. And what's going to lead to my first thing, and this is a big one I always hear a lot, that egg yolks are bad for you. But egg yolks, eggs are awesome for you. They are incredible. There's no doubt there, right? Because the egg yolk has the HDL, the good cholesterol, to be able to help balance your diet and, you know, have a healthy cholesterol level. Because you ever, you know, you go to the doctors, you get a cholesterol test as part of your blood test. You have to have a balance, right? A more HDL there. So next thing I wanted to talk to you about is I'm going to stay on kind of the diet realm for a minute. And this is a big one, right? Starving yourself. Skipping meals. I have a friend. We all we always talk. Hey, you at lunch today? No, I'm gonna skip skip lunch. And uh, you know, I'm trying to lose weight. Bad because what happens is your body. There's a purpose here. Your body needs food, and it's all about the food that you eat. So skipping meals, what it does, it could do a reverse effect because if you don't have any food in your stomach, you have air in your stomach, right? And then when you do eat food, your body doesn't know. It's almost like Muscles, right? If you don't use your stomach to digest and digest food, your small intestines, they don't know what to do. So what happens is the food sits there when you do eat. And anything you eat, you gain weight. So you don't want to skip meals. I just don't like hearing that. You know, people starve themselves. I mean, it's good to fast for a different reason. And that's going to lead to my next one is when you do a detox, it's not like, hey, I'm going to do a detox and lose some weight. What a detox really does is get rid of the toxins in your body so you don't get sick. Now, your kidneys, that's what they're there for, right? They detox you, right? They clean your blood. That's what they're there for. But a detox is not to say never do a detox, but don't have the mentality that a detox automatically, well, I'm going to lose five pounds. I'm doing a detox. Not the case. It's a preparatory, right, for a weight loss program. To get your, to get your, get the toxins out of your body. It's always good to do that. And that leads to another thing. All right. So a lot of people say drink a lot of water. And I talk about that a lot to deep to cleanse your system. That is true. Now, here's the thing with water. Here's a big myth. Bottled water versus tap water. And a lot of people say, ooh, tap water, right? Tap water is actually just as good as bottled water. Remember, bottled water is processed at a manufacturing plant in a plastic bottle. Now, you always hear about green and plastic and all that. Think about that one for a minute, right? I know we all drink plastic bottled water all the time, right? And, you know, the old saying is don't leave it in heat. Don't let the texture of the water fluctuate. But really, in reality, tap water is just, it's probably better for you uh, than bottled water. And what you got to do is use like a filtration system if you do, but uh, but in reality, it's it's you gotta lose that mindset that people say, oh, this is nutritious for you. Bottled water, remember, it's manufactured. So think from that perspective. We're gonna talk a little bit about another drink, coffee. 
Now, this is perception that coffee gives you osteoporosis, breaks your bones down. Absolutely not. And I talk about coffee a lot, that it's what you put into the coffee that's bad for you, not coffee itself. Coffee itself is actually very good. It's great for your metabolism. But it's what you put in there. Remember, sugar breaks down your bones, not the coffee itself. That does not break it down. All right, let's talk fitness, right? Hey, I did 10,000 steps today. I'm good. Not really. Yeah, that's awesome. That's a great accomplishment. But it's how you do those steps is how you make progress. Now, you could bike, you could walk. I always say walking is one of the best exercises for you. You could run. Uh, you could run. You can, I would say marathons are a little bit intense. But really, in reality, it's how often you get up and walk. Like, you could go bang out 10,000 steps, four miles, five miles, and then go sit on your butt all day at the office. You just reverse the effect there. So the whole idea is to spread those steps out over the course of the day. Your body is meant to move. There's no doubt there. Your body is meant to move. All right, we're still on fitness. I'm, I'm banging them out today, T. I'm banging these out. All right, I need to work out. You can't work out at night because you can't sleep. Yeah, I would say, you know, I would say work out in the morning because it sets the tone for the day. You know, I always talk about that. No, it's. I think it's really what you do at the gym. And also, my suggestion is drink a lot of water because, and this is a big thing to have a glass of, this is not a myth, this is a real deal. Have a glass of water before you go to bed. Your body's meant to, so that way you digest food and, you die cleanse your system overnight while you're getting some great rest. But the whole idea is not to have any stimulant drinks. So a lot of people, they also sugar drinks and all that. That's what makes you not sleep at night is really all that sugar that you have. Like if you have one of those drinks before you go to bed, it's not the exercise itself. Actually, your body's going to be a lot more relaxed if you exercise there. So that's another one. All right. Last but not least. Vitamins are bad for you, right? They're not approved by the FDA. Remember, the FDA does not approve vitamins. They approve the ingredients, but they don't approve vitamins. Vitamins are good for you, right? They close the gap. Right? People, oh, I have a great diet. I don't need vitamins. Not true. You're, nobody's perfect with their diet. And vitamins actually do close the gap. You need to do a supplement really and i always say take on nutraphysical and that that'll give you an idea what you actually need because i'm not going to say hey you got to take vitamin d or vitamin b or vitamin c it's all everyone's different so that's a great thing another sort of myth that you know every vitamin is good for everybody everybody's different so i hope this helps hope this gives you some ideas there are a lot of myths out there man i saw an article with like 30 of them right you know there's there's so 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 many everyone knows everything about healthcare. Um, yeah, I don't know everything about healthcare either. I'm not a doctor, right? But I'm a healthy, healthy 54 year old guy. All right. I sick. I hang out with the, the best of them at the gym. I am healthy, happy and all that. So I'll give it to you. Have a good day. Jeff D. MCHealthSolutions.com and share this video. Take care.